Hi, it's been a few weeks since I did my winter tree wash um, with essential oil, so I thought I'd come back with a bit of sunshine on the tree so we can see how it's got on. Here we have a good example of where the bark is split and broken and weeping and here and from what I can see the winter wash appears to have dried out the oozing sap and definitely seems to have this definitely seems to be a lot less um, infection on the tree and signs that you've got a fungus growing on it's actually drying up so that's a good sign where I really concentrated my effort was around the grafted site of my grafted fruit trees. These plum trees cross-promenate each other. One of them is an old gauge plum. Um, and they've never fruited well, probably because I didn't really know what I was doing years ago. But now, I'm onto it, and I'm getting decent crops off these plum trees. And despite the fact that, as you can see, there are signs of this common problem on plum trees of canker, the essential oils are definitely working on killing the infection. Here on this plum tree there was a fungus growing up the trunk itself and you can see that it's drying out and dying all along the trunk going as I go down here. Here we have another example how the dilute essential oils are working. My mixture, which is my original winter wash mixture, uses a combination of lavender oils and clove oils and also I use some washing up liquid with a bit of limonene in it that's a, an ingredient often found and it seems to be really working well so this is the healing effect this plum tree goes up to about 16 to 20 feet high but even so because of the spray bottle I've got which I'm going to carry on doing another bit on because it's going to be a dry day today I'm going to be tackling this mossy area as you can see a little bit higher up but in general the trees look a lot healthier and the unhealthy branches or those that are less healthy are definitely healing up and together with a good feeding program I should do better this year so time to pump up the spray bottle with the essential oils the lavender and the clove the detergent this is a two litre bottle you can put 10 drops of your lavender and 10 drops of the clove oil and a good squirt of detergent and as you can see when I do, do use a spray it really does go well slightly windy today not ideal but I'm looking on the weather it's going to be dry for most of the day so a good day for the winter spray program so away I go as you can see this is where you really need to get, get, get the spray worked in on these branches and don't forget to go around these areas here where, you, where the bark is very broken give it a good old soak and where the branches join as you can see this is where you get growth here and especially on other trees like cherry trees it might work well as well because they seem to be very sappy just to reiterate the winter tree wash can be made quite simply from essential oils um, you'll need some clove oil, you can buy this in 10 mils or a large amount. Um, I use 10 drops to 2 litres of my pressure sprayer um, and in the same mixture I'm using 10 drops of lavender oil to 2 litres. Um, if you haven't got, um, you can replace either of those if you want to with tea tree, 10 drops to 2 litres um, and a good squirt of uh, washing up liquid, it needs a chemical called limonene in it. Um, you can see that on that list of ingredients there. So, into your pressure spray bottle, let it all mix up, shake it up, pump it up, and away you go. That's a winter tree wash. And finally, something I would definitely recommend for feeding your fruit trees and uh, soft fruit. Um, I saw this at Wilco's when I went in today. Uh, make sure you get the right one. It's their Wilco Concentrated Tomato Feed. Now, why would you use tomato feed on, on fruit and soft fruit, you might ask me. Well, that's a good question. The reason is, if you look, read the small print, if you look at this, it can, it's enriched with magnesium and seaweed, um, and which really helps fruit trees. The NPK value, the K value, particularly with fruit trees, needs to be as high as you can get it. And this one has got a 4, 5, 10 ratio. That's 4 for nitrogen, uh, 5 for um, uh, phosphorus, 
that the K, which is the uh, potassium, is actually 10. And that will really help with your fruit trees. So what you need is one um, capful of this made up uh, to a whole watering can, which is about 4.5 litres. Mine 6 litres, so I can use slightly more, maybe about one and a half capfuls. And each fruit tree would need a whole watering can at least two or three times over the winter, spread it, spread that out. Um, this is this is fantastic. It's all get to the roots, and when the trees are dormant, that, I find that's the best time to feed them, so that they've got all that uh, energy around, all extra nutrients around, uh, because the buds are starting to form now over winter. And uh, finally, one thing I did find out. Um, I hadn't had crops on some of my fruit trees properly in my front garden for all good 20 years and I didn't know how to look after them properly and when I started investigating this, which is what I'm doing now, um, people recommended to me, Digwell, Digwell Greenfingers recommended this stuff to me, it's liquid seaweed concentrate and basically this, um, uh, a, a capful in a watering can, this is a fantastic um, extra thing to put for fruit trees as well. I had a Victoria plum tree last year. This, together with other treatments that I've used um, and proper management, meant to got a massive crop on that uh, plum tree. So thanks everyone for your help on YouTube. So here we have the results of my winter wash, which is essential oils contains lavender clove oil. Um, and basically a detergent with limonene in and it seems to me as if it's having a great effect on killing this infection this is a quince sedonia tree and although it flowered I noticed probably because of this infection maybe a poor feeding regime it wasn't setting fruit properly so I wasn't getting my quinces now with this winter wash I can see it's definitely killing the disease on this tree you can see it's drying out and it's not as it was it's not weeping and it's not active it's basically dying so that's good killing the infection the tree's now fighting back well i hope that's helped you because i wanted to review my treatment this year one or two of you have asked me um, whether milk and bicarbonate is still viable yes it is but specifically relating to fruit trees that is soft fruit and other ones um, I think the essential oils are even more powerful. Of course, don't forget I will be using milk and bicarb on my soft fruit, that's my black currants, and especially red currants. Um, if you have things like coral spot, I would um, advise, however, to prune that out. And I've got some fruit trees that have got this at the top of one of my plum trees, I'll show you there's some coral spot. I'm just going to use my extendable loppers and prune it out. So I hope that's helped.